What's going on, guys? Welcome to Opulent Vision, Road to Sub-20, Episode 5. We're still keeping strong at the series. It doesn't get a lot of views, but a couple of you guys who do watch it expressed how much you enjoy watching it. So again, if you see any critiques on myself, feel free to let me know. And today, we actually beat our sub, or I'm sorry, our, our uh, average of 10 we beat our record just barely, but we are slowly getting faster. And if you can't hear it in my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather today. Um, however, that's not going to stop me from making cubing videos. That's right. Anyway, if you guys got questions for our Q&A, go ahead and leave those in the comments. But we're going to go ahead and start from last week. Gladiator6 says, what games do you play? I play quite a few games, uh, not often. But I guess one of the ones I touch every single day is Clash of Clans. I love playing that game. And I just got to, well, Town Hall, Town Hall 13, getting ready to upgrade to Town Hall 14, coming soon. I'm one of the people who like to max everything out, so it always takes me a while. So exciting when that happens. Um, and you just saw me get a DNF here, and we like to keep it honest on this series, so I marked this as a DNF, even though it was a really good time for me. Um, also, other games I play, I've been playing a lot of Helldivers 2. I know a lot of you guys probably seen that, like online, getting streamed. Super fun game. And then the Division 2. I love all of those games. Uh, Duck Cuber, he had a little bit longer of a comment here, but he was curious about how to lube his cube. Um, he says it's a bit expensive, which I get. Um, I always go to Speed Cube Shop, not only because I'm sponsored, but they got quality stuff. And I pick up a couple vials of their... Uh, lubricant it's like five bucks i think per vial but those last a long time so i think it's worth the investment but i'll always put something a little bit heavier on the inside like torpedoes the pieces um, to help my controllability and that's typically going to be like martian for me um, and then i put something a little bit quicker on like the like sides of the pieces which um, I think it's Galaxy is what it's called, but I've been using their peppermint uh, lubricant because it makes my cubes smell really good. Um, that's just something I kind of noted, um, but that's that. And also, I forgot to mention this, but today I'm using a new cube, uh, new to me. It's been out for a little bit, um, but this is the Wave Rider V1. Um, this is the flagship edition. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. I've got a review coming out. Uh, Saturday, I believe, depending on when I edit that video. The cube was really bad out of the box, but I spent about 30 minutes like setting it up and getting everything like exactly how I wanted it. And it's a really good cube. It feels like an RS3M, but it works really well with my turning style. Um, and I guess like to kind of clarify my turning style and why it is the way it is, um, I turn really, really heavy uh, for the first like three years of cubing, I used a Rubik's brand and not like the speed cube version. Like this is like the eighties Rubik's brand that are like really hard to turn. Um, so I had to turn really hard for three years and I was able to get sub 30 just barely with that cube. Uh, but I think it kind of screwed up my turning style because I cannot for the life of me turn any lighter, but this cube actually works really well with that. Um, I don't think it's for everybody. I don't want to spoil the whole review either, but um, I really do enjoy this cube and it's my main for now. So we'll see how long that lasts. Anyway, back to the questions. We have the nerdy cube. First one should one by one be an official WCA event. Um, I think it'd be really funny if it was, but I don't really see the viability of that. Just everyone's getting like super low times. Um, I think it'd be kind of frustrating especially seeing that there'd probably be a lot of people tied for like i don't know the world record for it um just because everyone gets like 0.10 i guess depending on your timer some of them don't go lower than that so i think it'd be kind of frustrating for people uh he also asked what is your favorite food man i've been enjoying uh mexican food oh gosh i can't speak today i've been enjoying mexican food a lot um so like you know rice beans meat uh, it also helps like my bodybuilding diet and it tastes really good to me. So that's what I've been eating a lot of. Um, he also says, what is your honest opinion about clock being a WCA event? Uh, I don't have any frets with it. I know a lot of people do enjoy solving clock. Um, that's just nothing, something that I've never really gotten into. 
Um, so I ain't really got any battle with that. Also, not a lot of people do it, so it's easy to like look good in comparison, and you look cool doing it. So I guess that's just uh, what I have to say about clock. Warrior8282 uh, says, how long did it take you to learn OLL and PLL? Um, if you guys have been sticking with the series, I don't know full of either. I'm pretty close on PLL, actually. Um, just slowly learning a couple of the algorithms at a time. Um, but I got the majority of PLL down. I think I did like one or two algorithms a week, like when I started cubing. So I learned that in maybe like six months, um, getting to the point I am. And then OLL, I haven't really put much time into learning all of those. So I still kind of use two look, but I wanted to learn full PLL first and be good at it. So that's my excuse, I guess I'm talking about. Uh, Pat the Great 10, thanks for stopping by again. He says, could you bring back your gaming channel? Uh, this is something I've kind of been thinking about in my head because I do enjoy playing games. And if I could put them on YouTube and I don't know, have fun videos about that, you know, maybe it'd be something I'd be interested in in the future. I used to have a separate channel for gaming like way back in the day where I just post some of my cool clips. Um, but if I ever did bring it back, I'd probably just live stream it on this channel. Um, and it would probably have to be a game that everyone likes watching. Uh, so yeah, maybe that's something we talk about in the discord or something. Also the challenge of the day was to solve the, I think this is called the Ivy cube. Uh, I also could be really wrong on that cause I'm now doubting that that's actually called that. This thing is super sharp guys, but I don't know. I still, uh, ended up getting sub one minute on this cube and it was a very interesting solve um i love solving things that are i guess easier but different so like this the windmill cube the ready cube those are all super fun to me so just having a blast solving these uh extra cubes for like the challenge of the week or whatever so if you guys have another challenge let me know in the comments but we're getting close to the end of the video here so if you made it all the way through comment the word minecraft that way I know you made it all the way to this point in the video and you're one of the OGs. But with that being said, enjoy the rest of the solve and we'll see you next week. Peace.